back. I know it's was good, was good. <laughs> how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. My bad for my absence. I, I know how I can be just strictly with staying consistent with things. And this is one of them. I told myself I was going to start this and try my hardest to stay committed to it. And I put one video out and my next video was some months later. And I just can't do that for me if I'm going to like stay consistent with something that I'm doing. I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. I know New Year's coming up. Uh, what kind of goals you got for next year? Let me know what you plan on trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. Maybe you can hold me accountable to put out more videos this upcoming year. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> the behind the scenes on my show today was a photo shoot I did with someone I mentored, Kanish Coleman. I really appreciate her so much for always booking with me and just staying consistent with the things she's wanting to do with herself. Uh, she was modeling a wedding dress just for something for her own personal brand. It was a dope shoot. In the midst of me shooting, I just so happened to remember to press record. Yeah, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about the video while I discuss my struggles with being consistent. Look, you got it or you don't. It can never be a plan, only given when the time right. But I got it what you want. Being consistent has always been something that I struggle with. I start with the idea of something, then slowly start lacking motivation just to get it done. I start procrastinating with the idea of it, and I start putting it slowly onto the back burner, making excuses for myself, reasons why I can't do it, accepting fears that I didn't even know why I was afraid. Like YouTube, for example, it took me literally 10 years to just start doing this, when I've always had all the equipment and things just to get it done, just from the bare minimal level. I found myself quitting things without experiencing no real negative consequences, and shortly after that, I had to ask myself, was I really working hard enough? And I wasn't. I was basically lying to myself to make myself feel better as if I was, when in reality I wasn't. Like the things I see myself having, I was never gonna get it with the effort I was applying for me. I became so comfortable in that bubble of the way I was doing things and was getting frustrated with the results that I was getting. But it was nobody's fault but mine. What I've learned over the years, every time I put myself in uncomfortable positions, I noticed that I came out okay. But I think it was just the fear of it being uncomfortable. And I had to realize that that's, that's okay when you have to grow and you want to change some things. I appreciate you all for stopping by the channel. Hopefully the things I said was worthwhile listening to. Hopefully you took something from me. If not, you know, shit. Just continue doing the same old thing and repeating the same old fucking cycles of being where you are. Uh, it's nobody's fault but yours. And once you take that to understanding or account you'll start changing the things that you want to do blessings i'm gonna do better y'all i promise i'm trying <laughs>